Good morning, Internet. My name is Mike Bennett, and we're going to do a replay of a video. This is the whole uh, fight, which is about 35 minutes, so this video should be about 40 minutes or so. There's going to be an edited version where I talk, I, if there's anything funny that I talk about, or uh, I cut up any mind of dead space or anything like that. Um, but it's Saturday morning. Uh, I love League of Legends. Uh, I think I've said that enough. Um, pretty soon there'll be a bunch of Bunny Perspective episodes that reflect that. If you're looking for those Bunny Perspective episodes, please be patient with me. If you look behind me, this is the set I'm dealing with, and I'm using a cell phone. So I'm just I'm trying to work everything out. I'll let you know. And also, I might be getting a, a cell phone upgrade, so I'm kind of stalling to see if I get, like, a better camera. That's literally what I'm stalling for. Um, also, I want to write the episodes a little bit better. Um, I try, I'm try. i trying for this kind of uh, improv, scripted thing, but uh, I realized when I did it the first time, the big problem I was having with that is I'm not writing down the jokes I want to tell. I need to write those down ahead of time at the very least, put them in and edit around them for the points I need to make. So it's a working process because it's just new. It's a brand new thing for me. So uh, I'm not going to have the chat open for this because the point of this is to do a recap. But after this, uh, we'll be doing some live games on and off through today. I'm super sorry about the fucking beeping. Uh, I don't have a ladder tall enough to reach my smoke detector. I know that like a million people on the internet that are super unprofessional have this horrible beeping in the background. And I don't know how, how much it's going to pick up on here. I don't think it's going to be too annoying for you guys. For me, it's just, it's like this semi-constant thing. You hear that? I was trying to save that, but the game won't let me. That's okay. I'll show you guys will hear it. Okay, I die a couple of times in this match. Any rate, um, I'm new to League of Legends. I started in July. Um, and and when I mean I was new to League of Legends, like I don't play StarCraft, I don't play uh, Warcraft, I don't play RTSs. I'm new to this genre. I'm new to MOBAs. Um, and that's because I was working on, you can see it kind of behind me, uh, I was working on a Mac. Macintoshes, yes, you can play Starbound or Starbound. You can play StarCraft. You can play more and more games on Mac, but it's not a gaming PC. My PC was never made to be a gaming pre PC and is do devoted to work and stuff. So I kind of wrote off video games for a really long time, and now I'm back. Uh, I'm not back with all video games. Like I'm not gonna get into this Destiny thing. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not buying a Wii U. Um, I've got a PC, because this eventually will become sort of a semi-work, semi-computer. Uh, semi-work computer, semi-play games computer. And honestly, I like League of Legends enough that I could spend uh, every day playing a, a few games. Because it's really quite different every time. And I've been looking for a game like this. A game that you can kind of obsess with, where not every game is the same. You might also see behind me a bunch of board games. There are a lot of board games that you, like, you can play Lords of Waterdeep with different people, and that will make it different. But that's really how you're going to make it different. Like, Lords of Waterdeep, after, like, two or three playthroughs, you're like, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing now. I mean, it's kind of the, it's the same thing over and over. With League of Legends, you never know, because obviously you're dealing with opponents from all over the place. And there's a bajillion champs. And there's a bajillion combination of champs. Like, times a bajillion. Well, five. A bajillion times five. Um, so yeah, so I like this, I like this MOBA stuff, so I'm probably going to play a few other MOBAs, uh, but not many. There's, it's hard to devote a lot of time to these because they're time consuming. I want to get into Gigantic. I started playing Smite. If you like Smite and you want to donate me that $30 for all the gods, fine. I don't like Smite. I, I don't like it. I, I, I... <sighs> I don't like it conceptually. I think Greek gods are lazy. Here's the thing with the... Wow, this is really turning into a fucking podcast before the thing starts. I feel like I got pent-up rage about this stuff. Smite bothers me only because they use 
gods. And it's not because I'm against that sort of thing. I like the idea of playing Odin. Who wouldn't want to play Odin? Um, that's not... It, it's just lazy to me. It's just like... Like with, with League of Legends, and granted, the people at Smite have an uphill battle because they have to basically make something recognizable because Strife... I don't care about people's backstories that much. And in League of Legends, I do. And League of Legends has a very rich, uh, very detailed background, and it's getting more and more rich and more and more detailed. Uh, as we're going to talk about, because I'm playing Rumble in the top lane. Uh, I don't know if Rumble's good mid lane, but he's really good top lane. Um, he might be one of the best top laners uh, possible, like top lane fighters, I guess. Um, he has very few people that can fight him. Um, and in this match, I'm against a Riven? Yeah. And the first time I played against a Riven, the Riven kicked my ass up and down, left and right. It was embarrassing. I did not let that happen this time. I gave this Riven a ton of space, and that's all I needed to do. Uh, with Rumble, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, is, um, my favorite fantasy race, a Yordle. Which Yordles are somewhere between a gnome and um, a Moogle. That's probably a fair in, uh, assessment. So Yordle is like, they can either be a small, usually blue-skinned person. Um, or they're usually a small furry person. Uh, Teemo's a Yordle, Heimerdinger's a Yordle, and Rumble's a Yordle. And they're all furry and small. A Moom There's a bunch of other... There's, Tons and tons and tons of Yordles. Anyone that's uh, a, a tiny little dude uh, running around is a Yordle. Like Ziggs is a Yordle. Ziggs is... And I, I have every Yordle. The Yordles were the first people I bought all of. Even when I was like, Ugh, should I buy Poppy? Yeah, you should buy Poppy. She's actually pretty great. And I've had... <laughs> I played against ADC. I Was I Nami? Nami or Soraka. And it was ADC... Um, poppy and we actually had a really hard time with her because poppy is not that bad uh any rate we're in a game uh, i'm playing uh so rumble was one of the first um holy fuck me it really is a podcast now all right let's do a bong hit we're gonna take this long doing this part so smite the problem I have with Smite is it's lazy because it uses, you know, recognize it like Hercules. Everyone knows who Hercules is. People who don't know who Thor is. And people want to pit Hercules and Thor against each other. That makes sense. That's why there's a comic book version of this that's going to be super successful. Fuck me. It hurts my lungs. <coughs> Quoting MC Chris. All right, anyway. So, why I like League of Legends so much, and I I got in right away. Like, like I said, I started liking these characters almost immediately. Um, I saw Ziggs uh, really early on, and I started playing him, and I was really bad at him, and now I'm actually quite competent. Um, I, I would consider myself a comp... Every Yordle, I'm a competent Yordle. So, like, uh, Heimerdinger, I would say I'm above average with, because Heimerdinger is, like, the first character that really clicked with me. I can play him in a lot of areas. Um, I might be able to get weird with him and do, like, jungle and stuff. Like, I could get real weird with Heimerdinger. I don't think Heimerdinger is a good jungler. I don't. I thought about it a lot. He doesn't have the sustain. He's not fast enough clearing camp. There's no way he can clear camps fast enough. It's just not gonna happen. But it's interesting. He also doesn't need the mana buff or the red buff. Like Heimerdinger doesn't benefit from the red buff, and he doesn't benefit from the blue buff. If Heimerdinger benefited from the red buff on his turrets, that would be cool. But he doesn't. Anyway. I digress. Um, fast forward to... So I started in July. If you know anything... So this is July 2014. In case this is super future. Uh, and uh, 
Back when League of Legends was played not in the virtual dome. Virtual dome. Uh, so, yeah, like, um... Uh, so, the first champ that came out, like, the first brand new champ for me was Gnar. That's probably how people are going to remember things. So, I think Braum came out a little while ago, and then Gnar. Gnar just was coming out. And so, I was real excited about it, obviously. He's a Yordle. He's, like, a prehistoric Yordle. Um, not to go too far into it, but, uh, that character, I could write a dissertation on its kit and why he's so brilliant like he's got a reference to literally every single yordle uh character like one of his abilities is almost a mirror of one of the other yordles small example if you, you can smash them one of his abilities smashes them into a wall trist or uh, poppy has that same thing um he also throws his weapon most of the yordles have uh, projectile weapons i think rumbles like the only one that hits with his... But he doesn't even hit with his hands. He hits with the robot's hands. Uh, I'm trying to think if... Oh, well, Poppy. But I mean, like, he throws a tool. I think that was the closest I got to Heimerdinger, except thematically he's kind of like Jekyll and Hyde. Anyway, any rate, one day I'll do a dissertation. But I'm really bad with Gnar, so fuck it. Um, but I was getting ready for Gnar, and I was like, okay, who's like Gnar? And I was kind of avoiding Rumble because Rumble's... Uh, normal skin sucks. I hate it. It's one of my least favorite. I hate his stupid plunger feet. I've never, I've never been a fan of the junk robot. Uh, I've never been a big robot fan uh, as a kid. Like I never liked giant robot animes or anything. Um, Gurren Lagann really turned me on that, and then I watched Evangelion, and then I was just like, okay, it's a, it's a genre. It's not like it's like anything. Um, so anyway, February. So I'm practicing with Rumble to get good with Gnar before Gnar comes out. And you got to look at it my for my reasoning. Gnar and um, Gnar and uh, <laughs> Rumble have a lot of similarities. Uh, first off, they both don't use magic. They have a power bar that when it fills up, something changes about them. So in Gnar's case, he turns into Big Gnar. And then he has totally different abilities. He's the only person with a transformation that you can't control. There's a bunch of transformation guys, but you can't control Nars. And basically, it's like if you're in combat for a certain period of time, it fills up, and then you turn into Big Nar. Rumble has a thing where he has an overheat bar. And you're going to see this happen quite a bit. And when his overheat bar goes up, he silences himself, so he can't use any of his abilities... Uh, but his, uh, basic attack is improved by, um, he gets a magic, uh, he gets a, uh, re uh, he gets magic damage. We'll, I guess we'll keep, to checking in on that. Meanwhile, he has a part in between. If it's yellow, that's the danger zone. And he gets bonus, uh, to all of his basic abilities. Right, and we'll talk about his abilities when we when we're playing, because I'll have plenty of time to talk about it. Because the farming stage in this game takes forever. So, uh, I'm trying to make sure that this is all going to be quiet enough. That's the that's the only thing I'm worried about for later. So, at any rate, okay. So I'm practicing as Nar or for as Rumble for Nar. Now, I would also like to point out, early on, the only characters I was any good with like were Heimerdinger or Ziggs or supports like Nami and Soraka. Characters that did not get into the fights, but characters that stood back or helped a guy be in the fight. Rumble's my first fighter that I was any good with. I got Yasuo right away, and I, or no, I got Jax right away, and I die all the time with Jax. I'm terrible with Jax. Horrible with Jax. Um, I was even worse with Yasuo. So, Rumble's the first character that I was playing as I really liked, and it's partly because um, he, has an es he has a pretty easy and decent escape. Basically, he puts a shield on himself and he can move faster. These All, these, all of his abilities uh, eat up his cooldown, so basically what you're doing is you have abilities. The only things you're managing is like his cooldowns and stuff. Um, for If you're a total noob to this, 
I will try to make a noob video soon. But I, I mean, we're talking about a specific game. This game's too weird. So if you don't know anything about that, if it's the future, click in, click somewhere and find the noob video that I made for you. Holy fuck. Gee, Mike, do you just want to talk to somebody? I don't know. Yeah. When I was, when I was, uh, when I was 13, I was a dork. Okay, so, I tell you all of this, I tell you why I don't like Smite so much, because I, I don't like the universe, and that I like Yordles a lot, and that I like League of Legends a lot, uh, it's universe a lot. I say all of that because, um, one of the skins that you can get for Rumble, and this is the re this is the second reason I got Rumble. The first reason I got Rumble is I want to practice for NAR. The second reason I got the skin was I wanted to see if I liked Rumble because Rumble has my favorite skin in the game. And that skin is the Super Galaxy Rumble skin. And basically it's one big Gurren Lagann reference coupled with some, you know, just general giant robot anime kind of stuff. Everything he says is a reference. He literally says, who do you think I am? Just who do you think I am, I think is what he says. Um, I'm about, I should probably IMDB this, so I'm not wrong. About 90% sure his voice actor is the same guy that played Tino in The Weekenders. So he's got that great anime voice, and it was always wasted on that old skin. This one is, it's great. Like, it's, it, he's like inside, you'll see when I play it and everything. So the other thing I have to explain is I love this universe, and I love that they thought about this universe because there are, uh, an, there's another Yordle that is actually played, like Rumbles uh, is like, what's great about League of Legends is they have these goofy characters. Tristana, Rumble, and um, Ziggs are all legitimately played in professional leagues. If you want to play Yordles, there's one or two of them that is in the meta. So, you know, if you're real hard on the meta, you could always get Tristana and just learn to be a beast. So, at any rate, in canon, Rumble has a crush on Tristana. So, when you do his B back... Now, this is the other thing. This skin is one of the premium skins, okay? I kind of described this in one of the live streams. There's, like, basically four tiers of, of, stream, uh, of skins, but... There, well, there's, there's only really three. There's four price areas. Basically, the cheapest ones are just like a color swap. The medium ones, one or two of the animations are different, or and or, obviously the skin is different, and or the weapon is bigger or, or different. Usually, always, the weapon is, is bigger and different. And there's a flourish added to the spells. For example, Nami... With the koi fish one, there's like a goldfish basically at the crest of all of her stuff, which is great. It's my favorite part. It's why I got her. Gotta get a thip so my throat doesn't hurt. Then there's the... Um, so there's the ones that, that kind of change animations... Then there's, man, these ones are harder to describe because they're more expensive than those. So that's like the Nami skin, the Heimerdinger hazmat skin, like his B is different. Um, they're usually around 975 RP. Okay. Then there's like the 1300 RPs, and then, the, and then there's one above that. This is where that is. The 1300 ones are like, um, what the front door? You think I'm editing this, right? The the guys that are just watching this live are like, "What the fuck?" Hope I hope the edited version that makes any sense. The thirteen hundred ones, okay. The best example of the thirteen hundred dollar ones, like the one that you should buy, that's at thirteen hundred a hundred dollars RP, thirteen hundred RP, is uh, the arcade skins, particularly Veger or uh, Misfortune. Those are the best two. The, they're all good. At any rate, those ones change everything about the character. 
Uh, and actually, the arcade Vigor is a real discount because Rumble is even more expensive than that. The ones at that level fundamentally change. Like, the ones that you want to spend that much, like, RP on, i.e. money on, are the ones that totally change everything about it. Rumbles is like a new character with exactly the same kit. He has 100% all new animations. When he comes back to life, like, the robot puts itself together and it plays, like, anime music. When he backs, it plays anime music and he does... He has totally new voice work for everything. Um, with Vigor, it's also like that. So I would get all the arcade skins right now. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why they're not 1850 or whatever. Um, except that the Rumble's also just bigger and it's an, it's an impressive skin. Um, or maybe Rumble should be cheaper. Riot. But, you know, obviously, after I get it, that's when it'll become cheaper. Okay, so I tell you all of that because this is the first Rumble game that I'm comfortable showing you. It's a weird game. We won way earlier. If any other team was playing against us, I think they would have quit at 20. Because I think by 20, we had 20 kills uh, to their two. We smoked these motherfuckers. And I don't know if it's necessarily because... I don't know if... It, for one, uh, for the first time in a long time, everybody in this group, we all invited each other, so we all know each other. Like, I know a couple of these guys, they know a couple of these guys, or whatever. Um, and we played a bunch of games together to this evening. Like, we had a really bad game right after this, so it's not like we're perfect. But, um, um, but yeah, and uh, the, but this game worked out really well, and mostly I just wanted to show off the skin because Tristana's in the game, so you can see the Tristana B-backs. And um, I do a lot of cool things. If I didn't do cool things, then I probably wouldn't show you, but it was fun. Um, I beat the shit out of this Riven. I think Riven kills me all of once, and I interact with her for most of the game. At least most of the early game. Um, so yeah, spoiler alert, we win. Much better than the, uh, the Nami video where we lose, but there's cool stuff happening. So what are you going to do? All right, cool. So we're going to get into the actual video. Uh, is this finished? I should probably do another bong hit before we go in, right? <clears throat> this thing is I'm running out. So the next, probably the next video you see like this, it'll be like me, but like slightly more sad. So a little less patient. Be like, I'm way more patient. Says everyone. Save the rest for the end. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Now, let's see if I can get the sound right. I'm going to turn the sound way down. Okay. So that's me as Rumble. Um, we'll talk about my items as we go. Um, and there's Tristana. And uh, here we go. I'm going to hit play. Okay, that, that's already happened. Okay. Sorry, I was like, why is there no sound right there? Because of the sound for that already happened. Let's make fireworks, baby. Let's make fireworks, baby is a reference to Tristana. These are all the references right now. We'll zoom in on that. Why don't we? I do all three eventually. <coughs> Um, our Tristana doesn't show up right away, so that's kind of lame. How 
How do you like me now, Tristana? Yeah. There you go. All right, so those are all of the special Tristana-oriented backs animations. But again, the back animation for this uh, is totally different than it was. Those are my favorite ones. Like, I think... I always debate those. Like, the Nami... I had a really hard time. Like, Nami's uh, Koi Fish one aesthetically is my favorite. I really like the River one, but I like the Red Nami best. I've seen the Red Nami since I started playing Nami, and I've been drooling over it. So eventually I got it, because Nami's probably... Like, when I play ranked and stuff i'm probably gonna play a lot of nami i'm just i'm better at nami than most uh champs anyway oh i have a ranked game that we won i should probably i could throw that up but i think it's like a 4v5 so it wasn't as, as interesting any rate uh uh, uh so the nami skin so when you're when you're looking at buying skins i would consider now first off don't be a chump. Go on YouTube and, and do research. If it looks like a cool skin, see if it does anything. Check if it does extra particles. Most importantly, check if it changes the back animation or any of its standard animations. Um, I don't mind, like, Ari's pop song, pop on one adds, like, particles, like, music particles and stuff. But the new, I but it, it didn't really, I didn't really do anything for me um karma's new one which is like lotus uh something something to do with the lotus uh right like order of the lotus or something her back animation is totally new where she like flips out a couple of fans and it's cool it's super cool worth it if, if it's i don't care what the animation i don't care what it is if it changes the back animation in a cool way or an interesting way it's worth doing um I think Yasuo's uh, cowboy, not Yasuo's robot, Yasuo's cowboy is a really good example of this. I don't have it but because I'm bad at Yasuo. But one of the things, and it's real simple, uh, Yasuo's uh, dance is he plays like a flute. They change it to a harmonica. Super easy to change. They did a really good job with it. And, and yeah. Another good one is Jinx. I think Jinx I might eventually get just because I'm good with Jinx. Um, but I keep waiting, like, I'm waiting for them to release another Jinx skin, because I know the next Jinx skin they release is gonna be so fucking cool, and I just, I gotta wait. So that's why I'm not getting it, because I think the Flapper Jinx is kind of a cop-out. <laughs> I'm in this game for the long haul, I don't mind waiting. So right now you can see that, uh, we can talk about stuff, I guess. Uh, I got a shield. Doran's shield is a pretty standard start. And I don't know this because I didn't look. Riven just has a... She has a sword for attack damage. Well, I never let Riven get anywhere near me. The only time that this was a problem is the very early game because I don't take E first. From now on, when I fight Riven, I'm taking E first. That harassment keeps her right where I want her. Away from me. Because look. Look how far out she has to come to farm. Then you get your Q... And then you get your dash. And basically play safe until you get your W, which is a shield. That's the shield there. Now again, we're just farming. So I'm going to zoom in. So you can kind of see what it what the skin looks like. You're not missing Mout on much. She jumps out of the bushes a couple of times. It's not super scary. If, the, if you're using this as a Riven guide, don't do it. Because this Riven was not super OP. Not super great. I'm trying, also, I'm trying to figure out the webcam position, so I will, I, obviously, you can't see, down here, you can't see what my items are. I'll try to inform you as items change. For those of you watching the entire, uh, video, everyone else is not gonna know. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, it's, like I said, totally new animation. It, those, uh, robot feet are 10,000 billion better, like, better than the stupid cups. And his other skins, I guess the pirate one's okay. That coconut one is, oh, I hate that coconut one. I'm looking forward to the day when I'm in a random game and someone plays Rumble and they're in that stupid coconut one and I'm in this one I just beat the shit out of them over and over. 
Okay, any rate, uh, also, if you notice, like, the flame, uh, uh, if you play Rumble, you'll notice the differences right away. I love the shield. It's just better looking. Um, I use the mech uh, ward skins. I got those ages ago. Uh, when I jungle, I use the Amumu, because I'm a pretty good Amumu jungler. Uh, and I also love that they change his, it's like usually his, uh, his, uh, attack here is like a, this electric harpoon. Um, normally, <coughs> normally it has like an electric thing to it. They change it to a missile. There's nothing significant to the electricity. So, um, it doesn't matter that none of it has an electrical thing because they rethemed everything to fire and bombs. It's 10 million times better. Like it just, it works better. I don't mind the old, I don't hate the old Rumble skin, but I really don't like original Rumble skin that much. This is the reason I was like, okay, I don't mind getting the champ in the first place because, you know, one day I'll get the skin if I really like him. And I was kind of talking about this, like he's the first champ that I re was really good with and we're talking about when I had just stopped playing Locked. I used to play Locked Camera for, and then I realized like, I think when you're new to this game, there's a lot of terminology that just goes way over your head. Like, fucking normal people don't know what... You could say whole sentences that people don't understand. Tristana's OP bot lane because she has, you know, escape, you know, and significant damage if you get a, the right items on her, which are... It's not hard to figure out. You just get her attack speed up, you know. And, yeah, but fucking nobody knows what that means. Bot lane. That's fucking gibberish to people. But, I mean, you could do the same thing about... You could say the same thing about Magic the Gathering. And that's what... Those are my favorite games. They're really hard to... Exp Ooh. <clears throat> so, what just happened there a second ago? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go back. If we go back a lot, that's going to be really annoying. Riven did her stupid little charge forward area of attack thing she does this a lot i can never really secure the kill until later because it's not because i'm a chicken or anything it's because i don't i don't need to i was kind of waiting for a gank um because i know i could we could kill her easily on a gank um but they really took uh they really looked uh middle lane and bottom lane for the ganks You'll see in a second. Right now, there's only we have two kills already. We obviously got first blood because they didn't get a kill for ever. But I mean, I'm practicing playing Rumble pretty defensively and just farming because uh, good Rumble players farm. They play pretty defensively and they farm like a motherfucker. So she comes at me in a hard way. But I really have to kind of get out of there. I should have been attacking her. I don't know what my... Oh, you know what? That was a misclick, I bet. I meant to hit her with another missile and then just finish her off, but I didn't because... Sometimes, man, I choke on a kill. Um, I'm getting better at it, but sometimes I just choke. I'm not going to front. So I think right here, also, I was more concerned with just pushing this tower down. Because basically, uh, we, I all but killed this tower right now. I finished these guys off. We got another wave that's coming up around the bend. No, no, no. It's later. That's right. She teleports immediately. That's right. Never mind. I lied. I shove a minion wave in her face, and then I back so I can get a little bit more things and do a little bit of damage. And then, uh, and then uh, buy things. Because if she goes back, you got to go back. If she goes back, you got to go back. You might have to go back right when she's there. Because, look, she's already... She's basically right where she started again. And then I just teleport back to where she's at. And I picked up masks. So I'm getting an extra... 15 magic penetration, 25 ability, and 200 health. The 200 health and the 80 health from the Doran shield that I started with is why I don't lose. you got to build tanky when you're in the top lane because you can't keep running back down if you have the option to buy some potions or something that just gives you a bunch of health get a bunch of health you can always buy potions later 
They're not super important on Rumble. Just play defensively. Stay by the turret. Rumble farms pretty effectively under the turret. Uh, you might not get gold right away. It's not a big deal. You're going to eventually get your gold. So Riven run wanders off, which is just really stupid on her part, because she died, right? She wanders off, but what's worse is she leaves top lane for me just to do whatever I want to. Top laners, if you are not winning your lane, don't go to mid lane. Because guess who needs you in top lane? Your team. So, yeah, like I said before, this is where I just... Basically, I'm using my powers to get into the red so I have more attack damage to do more attack damage to this stupid turret. And uh, I'm going to be doing an extra 65... Uh, no, 70... 80... I do basically 81 extra damage when I'm in the red for my attack damage. So Riven had to run all the way back because she already burned her teleport. And then I have enough time. I wish I knew she was coming sooner. I should have threw a ward down. Um, get vision if you're in the top lane. I don't think that's such a bad... I don't think that's a controversial statement. There's only like three things you really need on Rumble. Then get a sight stone and get the red uh, upgrade so you can drop pinks everywhere. Just do it. Don't be a pussy. Dropping pinks everywhere is my new favorite pastime now. Get the trinket upgrade that lets you drop a pink. It's fucking worth it. Because they go out of their way to kill it every time. It's worth the time. I've had them waste so much time killing those stupid trinket ones. Uh, just make sure you play five. Do five and you got your value in trinkets. And then try not to buy too many early. Just buy one vision early. And then get the trinket upgrade. I... It, not as soon as level 9. I would say closer to a level 11. So maybe you buy another one before that. That's a, that's a long time without buying uh, Vision. You should always have Vision. Vision's OP. Totally missed all of her skill shots, by the way. And I'd like to point out, as you're watching this, I'm not keeping track. I'm not going to go ding, 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 ding. I hit a lot of my skill shots. The thing about Rumble is he has three skill shots. Or no, I'm sorry, two skill shots. Uh, he has uh, an area effect, he has a shield and a speed buff, and then he has a skill shot and then a really weird skill shot. I'm good with his weird skill shot. Not great. One day I will be great. Uh, but there are like a lot of rules of thumb with it, and we'll kind of talk about his ultimate when it comes down, because it's I've used it once and I fucked up. Like I said, I should have had vision. If I had vision, I, I could have seen that Riven was coming straight up, and I could have done a diagonal line across there so that there's no way... Like, that first hit her, and then she has to walk through it to get out of it. That's... So there... Okay. So I talked over that. First kill. That is not a shocking kill to me. Riven refuses to drink potions or tanky up at all, right? I don't know what she has. Oh, she got a door and shield. Oh, and Lucidity Boots. Mistake. That's a mistake. She should have gotten armor. Or magic resist. She should have got magic resist. Against Rumble? Holy fuck. All I do is magic attacks and then hit you in the face with a... With a drill. <laughs> so anyway, this is, uh, this is where bot lane is starting to win. If you notice, by the way, here's our mid laner. If you... If you look in mid lane, oh my gosh, did we win mid lane? Oh, okay, so that means mid lane can come down to bot lane. Now, I'm winning. I'm currently winning top lane. I think minions will take out the tower on its own because right now the tower is very low. So I won. I'm already winning top lane. I also can go down and start uh, doing some ganks in the lower level. You can't go down unless you're winning your lane. If you're not winning your lane, stay in your fucking lane. Everyone in your team will thank you. They made this game this reason for a reason. Because it's a challenge. Sure, you could have, like, one person in the middle, two top, two bottom, like it's robots. That's not what's interesting. The jungle is interesting and all that. But you can't be running around in the jungle until you've won your lane. Like... See, there you go. 
I was cutting her off because I didn't want to deal with her area of effect damage. And she had to stand in my ultimate or goddamn walk through it twice before she could do anything about it. Uh, what am I at for kills? I got two kills so far. Uh, I didn't see what my second, my other kill was. It's not a big deal. So anyway, this is me proving the Tristana thing again. I'll always come back for you, Tristana. Uh, while we were playing, I was explaining that Rumble was, had a crush, has a crush on Tristana in the meta. And right after I did that, I did the B back, and it was the, let's make fireworks, baby. <laughs> it's great. Uh, like I said, in my opinion, 100% best skin in the game. Even if just the B back was that, I, it would almost be worth it. But there's so many things. Like, I didn't even show all the stuff. Like, he has a new dance. He has a new laugh. The laugh is perfect because he just puts the robot hand in, and it opens up and he just, ha, 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 ha. It's great. It's the kind of laugh you want in this game. <laughs> Diana has the second best laugh ever where she just goes, ha. That's a really good laugh, too. Uh, Thresh has a decent laugh. There, Vigor, honestly, don't like his laugh in the in the mini boss mode or the the final boss. Vigor, I don't like his laugh that much. So anyway, this is where it gets stupid OP. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was explaining that they uh, they they date and or that he's got a crush on her in the meta, and or in the in the lore. Um, this is actually a pretty OP combination, Tristana and, uh, Rumble. Because it, Tristana is hitting them while I'm hitting them. It's just so much damage. Like, the damage that comes in is just stupid. Like, Yasuo walks in for a second, and he's like, oh, fuck. The two Yordles, I don't want, like, the two Yordles have figured out that they're OP together. So yeah, that one was a pretty decent, uh, well, hey, wait, let's repeat, replay that, hey? Let's take a look. All right, so I alt, I honestly, I'm going to tell you, I did this alt half blind, because I kind of knew where Yasuo was. Okay, and I was mostly just trying to block their exit, which I think is a good rule of thumb if you don't know where to put your ultimate. Try to block, if there's a way they got to walk through, make sure they got to walk through it. If you put it at a diagonal, they're more likely that they're going to have to walk through it twice. Or walk through it longer. So anyway, I figure we're fleeing at this point, And I think I'm right. Yeah, I think this is a general escape. Riven, I think, might kill me at this point. I think this is where I die to Riven. Yeah, because Yasuo shows up. By the way, though, I do a lot of damage to them. A. B. Uh, I don't think Tristana cleans up. I think this is where it kind of gets dark. I don't, I know I I died, so I don't really know what happened here. So Tristana gets hit. Okay, so the mid laners show up to get rid of Shaco. Now I'd like to point something out. This whole game, Shaco on the enemy's team is constantly typing to uh, Aki Akali or something. It's so weird, dude. It's so creepy. Oh, I didn't show it. There's a cool animation when he shows up. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, I died? This is bullshit. Because that's the first death. Sure, I don't have 14 kills. Like Akali does. But that Shaco was stopping all the time to type. Like, I don't know how many kills she got on Shaco, uh, Shaco but it was a lot. Anyway, let's see what everyone else is doing. Uh, Lothario! Lothario is my buddy from Detroit. Uh, I dated a girl in Detroit, and she had a circle of friends, and one of those circles of friends was a guy, I'm not gonna say his name, uh, but he was a twin. So, his name, his name, uh, so he was a twin, and then, so we always, when we met his brother, it was Bizarro. We just call him by his last name, so, I can't tell you that either. 
But, uh, so anyway, I basically put a shout out on Facebook. I'm like, hey, I started playing League of Legends. Anyone wants to add me, it's Phil Bunny. Hey, if you want to add me on League of Legends, it's Phil Bunny. Please do. Uh, <clears throat> and he got a hold of me right away, and we started playing right away. We were playing, he was playing with me back when I had locked camera, and I was getting really frustrated with the game, and it was him and his, and his brother. His brother is in Japan right now, so he it can't play i guess he's in like a shitty uh, either he has no time or he has no internet or something I'm, I'm not sure what the situation is but anyway he's a buddy of mine he uh uh lothario i think plays a really decent hecarim jungle uh we had a we had a game where he had quite a few kills with no deaths here, I'm just trying to kill Shaco, but I end up killing his stupid clone, and then I'm just, I decide it's not worth it. He got his buff. Uh, but, by the way, I'd like to, I, uh, I teleported in. Right? So here's me. As I'm talking over this, talking about people in the real world. We'll talk about Joker in a second. Joker's the first, uh, in-game friend I've made. But yeah, I teleport in. I'm like, oh, Shaco's over here trying to get a stupid buff. Let's uh, let's kill him. But he ults away, which is fine. It happens. Shaco was kind of hard to kill sometimes. I never killed Shaco, I don't think. Except maybe in team fights. And that thing was about to die, by the way. I have more teleports to about to die uh, wards than uh, anyone, and it's hilarious. Show up just in time to save Tristana from a horrible samurai. Oh, stupid, uh... Stupid, uh, misfortune ruins it. And then gets killed promptly. Because I don't know they got a ward here. See, this ward I'm not aware of. And basically, I'm, the only reason I'm there is backup. Because, uh, we need to get our medliner back out. Akali. That's her name, Akali. Jesus, bugging me. Uh, we need, I need to wait till Akali gets out. And basically, at this stage of the game, if you're playing Rumble, what you want is, uh, you're gonna want, uh, haunting guys. Seeker's arm guard, because you're gonna build into, um, uh, Hourglass. Hourglass is, is just something everyone should get. And the armor... Now, I needed the armor because of the uh, harass and the ability power is amazing. Boots of mobility because Rumble's slow. Get him. Rumble's too slow. You're not... I mean, I might even go Boots of Swiftness. It's not consistently faster, but... Or, I mean, it's consistently... It's slower, but it's consistent. And I'm getting sick of slows fucking me up, frankly. Uh, Blasting Wand is the other thing I've got because I think I'm building towards Death Cap. Let's make fireworks, baby. Let's make fireworks, baby. Anyway, I really... I, I, I think Tristana and Rumble together are really good. I'm not going to say... like We built this in Team Builder. I definitely started squeeing when I got a Tristana because I was really excited to get some footage of uh, Rumble uh, with his unique back uh, comments. So right now we got about 15... About uh, 12 minutes left in the game. Which is halftime. Halftime bong hit. This bong hit's brought to you by Riot, because no one, no one's sponsoring me. Riot, makers of fine games like League of Legends and other games, probably. And who gives a fuck? They made League of Legends. Go play League of Legends. Join me in God, glorious combat. If you want to be a part, like if you want to do like, uh, like League of Legends uh, for babies kind of thing let me know and we'll we'll hook that up because i think i would be good at that uh, i used to be super new and now i'm just new i killed that lady i'm about to kill this samurai because he killed my lady i will avenge you tristana
Here's the thing. This Yasuo player was just terrible. We played another Yasuo player in the next game, and we just got wiped out. <coughs> I got hit with more ultis. I can't even tell you. So many ultis. So entertaining. Mike is drinking and smoking weed. Why did I think this was a good idea? How do you like me now, Tristana? All right. I, we're uh, little replays has glitched out just enough that I can't uh, do a lot with it. So hopefully this doesn't suck. Okay, right. This is where we take Baron. Uh, I think we take Baron twice. This is the first Baron. Uh, this Baron, I uh, I get a little too into it, and I don't. I think I figure we're gonna kill it sooner or something. I don't have a good excuse, but Baron kills me, so I get no Baron benefits the first round of Baron. So that's me being dead. Uh, let's see what the other team was doing, because I was kind of curious. They do have wards down. Um, I think that's because of the jungler. Shaco has like no equipment. Look at that. He has basic boots still. Shaco sucks. He was just talking the whole time. I don't know what his game was. Uh Thresh was not great either. How many times did but I think Thresh was Yeah. Thresh was basically the best on their team. Riven and Yasuo, obvious they might have been new or something, but they died a lot. Mi uh, Misfortune died a lot too. MF died a lot. But I don't know if that was necessarily her fault. Her team comp is just not very good. And you would think a Yasuo and a, and a Thresh would be great together, but they were never paired up, so they never took advantage of each other. It's estupido. So at any rate, uh, after we had already taken down all of their towers, and ar around this time, I uh, kind of thought we lost. Shit, I hope we, this is the whole game. I think it's the whole game. Now I'm starting to get panicked that this thing got cut off at the end. If it does, whatever. Spoiler alert, we won. Uh, I love that's the other thing about this particular skin is for most of all of his attacks He has a call phrase that sounds like something from Gurren Lagann uh, That's another reason why it's just such a great skin like just it's it is 100% my favorite skin in the game Followed very very closely by the Vigor uh, big boss uh, video game arcade skin final boss Vigor is what it's called and then probably the Nami skin, the Nami Koi Fish. Oh, you know what, motherfuckers? I was talking about that. So I was debating on the River Spirit Nami and the Koi Fish Nami. So basically, I, I don't know if people want to go by my thought process or if they find that interesting, but I did rack my brain on it. They both do two interesting things. The Koi Fish one has a better uh, particle animation because it adds little uh, goldfish to all of her things. Except the bubble. But to be fair, I don't know how you would put a goldfish in the bubble anyway. But there should have been a goldfish in the bubble. Fuck it. So at any rate, uh, so I really like the particles in the bubble. I really like, aesthetically, I like the koi fish one more than the river one. I like the weapon a little bit better for the river one. And I like the flourish on the tail and everything. Like, I like the river one a lot. The 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 things that it came down to, I ended up liking the fish added to the fl more than I liked the back animation. Because uh, you get a brand new back animation for uh, Nami if you get the river spirit one. Where a rock appears and she sings. And I love that. It's on. I think it's it's. If anyone wants to give me that skin, they get a free plug. 
Here's your free plug if you already got it for me, and this is post done in post. Uh, this is where my computer glitches out. I don't know what happened. Yeah, normally I don't just walk into the tower and die. Something happened. I was clip. It, it was ridiculous. I can't believe that happened. By the way, I was real upset. That was my one Rob death. Hey, that one's on you, Riot. Or my computer. I don't know. Any rate. Uh, so I, it, the debate came down to it. So we're, we're the actual final thing. Yes, I like the fish better versus the thing. Um, Nami has a joke. Like, everyone has a joke. And Nami's joke is she she waves her wand and, like, these little sharks jump over her. And they look like little baby versions of the big shark that Fizz summons. And that's cool. But the uh, koi fish summons goldfish. Versus the river one, which summons piranhas. And I just like the goldfish better. That's where it came down to. Uh... But honestly, it's I like both, and I really want to get the river one, and I'll constantly be switching between the two. Because I love Nami. Nami's my favorite support. Eventually, I want Thresh. I want that underwater Thresh, and I want to get Thresh and Nami on a team. Maybe AD, Thresh, Nami carry, Nami uh, support. That might be interesting, actually. And then Yasuo mid, and then... Everyone's got to be talking so that Yasuo knows when people are going to use all their knockups. And if you want to get super crazy, you would throw. Uh, who else has a good knockup? Like, oh, uh, I'm blanking on does. Uh, uh, does Gragas's belly bounce do a knockup, or is that just a stun? At any rate, you find someone else that has knockup, and you just do this whole knockup comp, and you just base it, and you get a good Yasuo, and Yasuo ults are crazy, and if you could coordinate your ult with not Yasuo's uh, Q, then all the better. I find more times than not, when I'm Nami, and someone on my team is Yasuo, we don't take advantage of my wave. And I think the wave is the best one because it hits so many people. You can, like, ult over and over and over. I also like to point out that Shaco was talking the whole time, and he has three kills, five deaths, and one assist. And uh, Arakali has been talking back to him the entire time and has 25 kills, three deaths, and four assists. So... Maybe don't type in chat if you're not very good, Shaco of the world. Shacos of the world. Maybe this is a cautionary tale, but buttholes. Maybe. Yeah. Any rate, uh, I would also like to point out, I think the flames are just way better looking with this, too. Like, they have that cool blue flame that comes out. Like, it's really hard to change flame animation that it's noticeably different and i gotta commend them that's noticeably different than the original flame in all the right ways just the blue accents and everything it's just great it's it ah can't talk i can't talk enough about it this is the justification for skins in my opinion is the rumble skin like it's like if people want to be like i understand if no one ever wants to buy skins for practical re i totally understand that but if you need an argument of why skins can be totally cool mechanic to a game and totally just personalize it and all this shit. And I like Strife, but I think their skin options are just bad. Just not great. And I bought into the Strife a little bit too. I feel kind of, I don't feel ripped off or anything. I'll probably play Strife later. They have new guys and stuff, but the games take so much longer and I might as well be I might as well play League of Legends and be good at League of Legends because it's a more popular game I play Hearthstone too 
It's not just because it's a more popular game. I like Hearthstone. Actually, we should do Hearthstone today. That might be a good Saturday afternoon activity. I have like a whole wing I haven't done. Because <laughs> I'm so lazy. Alright, so I don't know which Shaco is which, and I don't want to deal with it, so I'm kind of waiting for one to die before I go try to kill one. See? Smart. I got away from the other one because I know when it dies, it explodes. <laughs> Knowing your opponent's kits is super important. I don't know Riven's kit at all. I don't know what she does. I could probably, I will probably watch this in my own private time or watch the one where Riven beat me and watch how her kit works because I'm never going to buy Riven. I know Riven's good. She's not good. No one plays her pros. And I've never seen people play Riven pros. Because she's counterable. All of her stuff is easy to avoid. It's She's not hard. If you know her kid even a little bit, or you just avoid her, she's she's really easy to beat. Well, you know what? Oh, yeah. We just went right here. Yeah. Now, I try my damnedest at the end to get a taunt in, but I just don't. What are you going to do, right? So, if you're thinking about getting a skin, and you're thinking about getting one of these uh, slightly more premium skins... If you play Rumble and you like Rumble, I'd say it's totally worth it because, holy shit, I really, really do not like Rumble's basic skin. I suffered through it for a long time to get decent enough where I feel like I earned it and I got the thing. Now, it's... All I want to play is Rumble. Right, you fucked up. Rumble should have been that way from the beginning. Uh... And he's fun to play. He really is. Like I, you, if you, uh, if you watch Worlds lately, I think Rumble even got banned. That's crazy. They wasted a whole ban on Rumble. So, what, what can I say? Get him. I think he's worth getting. If you like him a lot, get the skin. It's worth doing. Uh, once I get, there's gonna be like a Nami uh video coming out as well that's edited like this. The the thing is. It, it, making these and then finding out later that they just suck afterwards i've had to redo them a lot so forgive me i was using uh lol uh replay lol uh, uh league replays lol replay uh works great on the pc it doesn't work on a mac if you have a mac don't bother with it but if you got a pc use it works great uh if you've got videos and stuff whatever just i don't know, put links in the chat and maybe i can like it oh whatever like subscribe uh if you have some if you want to give me a skin for a promo that's a that's a thing if you want to give me a champ for a promo i'll take either of those uh as skins go basically if you see uh if you see me play that champ in this at all like if i put a video up with that champ and you want to get me that skin that's perfect i'll put a video up if you want to do like a little 30 second promo of what you do i can throw that up uh, tell me what you want. I'll do it. Uh, pretty easy on that. Otherwise, it's uh, 40 bucks because you're paying for my weed. Do, do, do. So, until uh, the next video, uh, once more, I want to promise that Bunny Perspective is coming. I'm just in limbo right now. Again, it's a mess back here. I'm sorry about misleading you guys. I feel feel like a chump-ass dick. But, uh, uh, Patreons, you're only going to get charged one League of Legends a video a month and it's always going to be an edited one it's not going to be these full ones like this so don't worry about that uh and if you don't play league of legends and that seemed kind of interesting to you please do please join in and if you're bad ask me we'll join up in a team we can play against robots and i can talk you through it as much as i can you know like uh it's a fun game it really is it's it's got a hard learning curve but if you stick to it and 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 uh, have some friends that want to play it as well. It, it it's worth your investment. It's one of my favorite games, it really is. Shot right up to like number one video game. Salute! It's four twenty some place, probably not. No, it's not. It's like nine forty seven.
Thanks, guys. See you later. But up, up.